welcome back to our YouTube channel and this is our third video now um, and we have reached 100 subscribers so thank you so much for that and we will be doing a little giveaway at the end of this video so if you keep watching okay so today I'm going to show you how to put together our Myla bow um, the Myla bow is the new bow which was featured in this month's bow box the March box um, which was mermaid themed and was um, amazing <laughs> You've all been loving it and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the lovely feedback about it. Um, it really is lovely to hear um, how much you all like it and it, you know, it is just great. Yeah, so the template was quite um, a simple template so I'm not um, here really to show you how to put that part together. Um, what I want to do today is just show you how you can actually use the template to create different um, variations and to make different style bows. So obviously, um, hold on. Here is the, the template as it was, um, and it does look lovely. I noticed that a lot of you in the group were asking about how to add a clip to um, the back of the bow. There are two, there's no um, right or wrong way. Um, there are two ways you can do it. You can either um, put the clip across as, normally, as you normally would do with a bow, and just have it sort of like angled however you want or at the back it does look nice on a bun um, or you can also have it um, just a, use a smaller clip and then just have it um, going across there at the top if you wanted it to be more of a fringe clip if you were going to do it that way I'd probably say you're going to need a little bit of felt so that it will actually stick a bit better and be a bit more secure um, but that's entirely up to you Okay, so um, ne yeah, now I'm going to show you just one other way um, which we've actually um, done with the template. So basically we have used two, two of the mermaid templates cut out. I have pre-cut them all out using the die and um, sneak peek. Um, the die will be available on Monday with the rest of the stuff on the box. So that's Monday night at half past eight and that will be after the bow box unboxing on our YouTube channel. So yeah, we've used two pre-cutouts to make that one. I used a um, normal glitter underneath, and then I actually on that one I used the mermaid scales fabric, which was featured last year in one of our boxes. I can't remember what month now the mermaid box was. It's that long ago, um, but yeah, that's still a massive hit with you all. And um, the, the there is only this one in stock at the moment. But the lilac and the um, darker one will be back in stock in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're going to glue this one underneath. So you are just folding over the top into the middle for this one. That's such an easy bow. Um, and then for the top one, I think, obviously I've used the mermaid scales there, but I will use the mermaid fabric which um, yeah, just came in this month's box as well. There was about, I think it was five or six variations in this month's box, so you would have got, this one was inside every one of the boxes, you would have got an A4 sheet, um, and then you would have got either this colour or another colour, there was like so many different glitters that you could have got this month. So I'm going to use the green with the mermaid on top. So all you're doing is just going to put a bit of glue there and then overlap them. So you're creating like a, a real bow, only instead of putting the tails underneath, you're having one overlapping on top and one underneath. I just think that looks so lovely. It just You can still see the mermaid style and it just looks so pretty. So we're going to put um, a centre around that now. I've not got many of the centres cut out, so I'll just use the um, the mermaid fabric. Okay, and then what I've done with that one, um, I have put that one on an Alice band. So um, you can, we we actually sell these on the website. We've got so many colours in them. Um, I have only got a lilac one here, so I'm going to put that on there. So you're just going to put it on the side. I just put a bit of glue on the headband first. A bit wobbly then. <laughs> um, OK, 
okay and then once you're happy that it's stuck and it's straight then you just glue your center around and that just gives it that extra bit of security keeps it attached hold that down until it sticks take all your glue strings off okay and then there you go you've got your mermaid bow so that's another way that you can actually use it i think one of the girls in the group found actually about five or six ways that you could actually use this template but i'm only going to show you a few today So um, another way that you can use it, and um, I can find it, is if you wanted to do um, just a normal bow shape, you can actually create that um, exactly the same as you would normally. All you need to do um, is cut, cut slightly in the middle of the tail. You're just going to chop both of those, and then you're just going to glue a bit in the middle there and then just glue that onto there, overlapping. So I've just glued them two together to create a normal bow. And then just kind of bring them in like we would do normally on any other bow shape. Just lining them up. And then you've just got your bow. And then if you wanted to add your tails, um, I thought a nice way to do it was to do it like kind of like the Eliza bow with the tails going down and out like that. I just think that was so pretty. And um, so yeah, we just glue them onto the back. Just a bit angled. Obviously just go back and check that on the front and um, that you're happy with that. And just go back again to the front and check it. Okay, and then before you put your centre, let's just see how that looks. It's stunning. And then I'm going to, just to um, spice things up a bit, I think I'll use a pastel tail, pastel middle even, keep calling them tails. Okay, and then you just bring that through your um, tails there and fastening that around. So obviously then you could actually go and get your alligator clip and then put that on the back. It's going across and then bring them over. Um, another tip that I found, I don't know if any of you do it, um, but I have actually found that it's better to line the clips, that you do get um, a much stronger grip if you are lining them. Um, that one's a 55mm um, clip and basically I've just cut out like a 14cm um, strip of this 10, I think it's 10mm ribbon I think. We will actually be stuck in this ribbon soon as well. Okay, so I just glue that there. So this is just the line in the clip. And then you're just going to glue all along the top. Put that on there. I just think it makes it look a little bit prettier as well underneath the bow. Okay, and then you bring in that into there through the little handle. Um, I haven't got a lighter with me but I do usually just um, cinch the ends with the lighter just so it stops them from fraying but um, as this is only for showing I'm not going to do that on here. I'll just leave that on there. Okay so there you've got your, your lined clip and then we're going to put that onto the back of the um, bow. So we're just gluing again along the top of the line clip and that's going across in, in the centre there of your bow and then you're just going to put some glue on your um, middle and I like to wrap them around the alligator clip and um, if it's a bit bulky I do sometimes snip it but I just think that you know, it just gives it that extra bit of security when it's in the hair and it's um, less likely to snap or come out. And I always, I do that for all my girls once I make them clips as well. So there you go. And that's your uh, another way of using your Mylar bow.
you've got the overlapping of the tails on top and then you've got a pretty um, normal style bow there you could do another variation there with your tails um, I've seen some people um, like just uh, overlapping them on an angle there is so much you can do with this template it's just amazing um, also just wanted to show you this is our new um, pastel stars uh, if you can see it on there but we did have a version of the pastel stars um, before but it had some um, sort of red and green spots on which um, we didn't really like so um, we've removed the red and uh, green spots and what we've done is um, added um, more of an iridescent sparkle to it and we've added some white dots for um, like a sherbet kind of effect so it really is pretty this one as well and this will be available um, on the website on Monday as well so again we're just gluing them in the middle there okay. and there you go so that is your Milo bow okay so we wanted to share some news with you um, about the Milo bow so the dye will be available, as we said, from Monday um, at half past eight. That's when all the bow box contents will be available for sale. Um, but during the time when we first created the template for the box, which was a couple of months ago, um, we have decided now to introduce a smaller size. So on the dye that will be available on Monday, there will be the normal size um, one that you got in your box. And there will also be a little mini little sister version next to it, which you'll be able to use for your fringe clips, which we just think is so going to be so cute. So we're so excited about that. Um, but obviously we did order a couple of these dies to begin with. Um, so what we're going to do today, um, as a thank you for reaching 100 subscribers, I am going to give away one of these dies for you. So all you need to do to be in with the chance of winning it is just hit the thumbs up below. So like the video and leave a comment below as to why you want to win it. And we will um, choose a winner on, I think, Saturday evening. Um, yeah, we will announce that um, on our Facebook page and our Instagram. Okay? So, um, yeah, if you want to win one of the dies, just... Um, comment and like below and if you want to buy one of the other dies they will be available from Monday. Okay, so thanks for watching today and we'll see you again soon.